good afternoon this is Olina Spice today I'm gonna make some nicely done bunje same bunjal same you guys have seen and uh, you guys have tried hope you like my recipe and thank you guys for watching so uh, today I'm going to make some same also called flat beans and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare it I'm gonna make it like a bungee style very light curry weight and um, so you guys to see how to get I'm also gonna um, do some um, fish fry some fillet fish on the side with that so you could either use it as a uh, as a vegetarian style if you don't care for the fish but I'll show you how I'm gonna get it clean so now I'm going to show you how I clean this. So I usually do it like this. You know, on the edge of it here on the side, you, you could either do it with your um, hand or you could do it and then you pull the string out like this. Then you turn it the other side. Then you pull it like this. So this is how, um, see now, you have a different way you could um, break it like this like this the seed is very um, nice it's, it's young so you could use it like this or you could um, that's how you do it very easy to clean or you could leave it you won't break it you could um, just cut it in two or you could um, you could do it another way too you can just um, leave it whole so there are different option way of cleaning it and depends on how you want it you could even leave it like this just like this and cook it just like this it's okay so I'm gonna finish all these up and let you see the next step You could also do it with your hands like if you don't want to use a knife you could use your hand too like you know you could do it like this I'm showing you a different way of how you can do it so I'll finish this all up and I'll let you see the next step So I, so I finished clean the same, but um, I want to show you something really quick. Um, these young are same. I just want to show you how I clean them because they don't have these um, string on them. Like I clean these here. So what I do with this, I just cut it. You see, if you notice, if you pull it, there's nothing coming. So they're young. They're younger. So what you do, you just clean the head, both sides, and it's all good. Because these, these couple, they're, they're, they're very young. They don't have any of that. I just want to show, give you all a quick ups on this. So I finish. I finish up that. But this is, um, this is how it is. After you clean it, you know, some of them I, but you could, you know, as I show, you can do it any way you want. But I'm going to do it this way. So see you in the next step. So I wash my, um, the fillet, the fillet fish, bangamiri. Bangamiri is a fish that comes from South America, from Guyana, and it's a delicious fish to fry and eat. So um, um, I season it. So I want to tell you quickly uh, what I put inside. I put some, um, I put some Ita like Italian seasoning, which I made myself, my own um, ingredient, thyme, rosemary, sage argano basil all i mix up in here i put there in um i made that seasoning myself freshly made homemade seasoning i also put salt i put some garlic powder and i um put some cayenne pepper well cayenne pepper is optional and black pepper so they're all in there and what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna um, fry it and then we're gonna eat it alongside the same so I'm going to put it in the fry now and then I'll finish up my cooking and let you see. So now I'm going to use some of these um, seasoning 
Um, here I have some sweet pepper, I have some garlic, cilantro, hot pepper, a little piece of ginger, onion, and in here I have some um, broadleaf thyme, I use uh, some thyme, basil, and, um, and a little piece of rosemary. But um, what I want to say, you could use seasoning of your choice, whatever you want. You don't have to use what I, I'm making, but I'm just um, giving you an idea what I use. So I'm going to grind all this up and then I'll show you the next step. So I grind all my seasoning here. Um, and then I'm going to mix the masala. I'm also going to add two potato. To it or you could do it without potato also you can um you could cook that um same with um any sort of meat fish shrimps you know anything of your choice so i'm gonna put half a teaspoon of turmeric powder One tablespoon of garam masala. Well, you guys know what's a garam masala spice. Gar is of the masala. I made a video of the garam masala whole, how to mix it. Also, I'm showing you this a whole grind one. And we're going to add some curry powder to that. use about two to three tablespoons depends on how thick you want it but this is enough that's about three tablespoons so I'm gonna finish the potato cleaning and then you see the next step also I'm gonna add some water to this mix it all up So I clean the potato and um, I really want to show you real quick, I'm going to slice it up like this size. Not more big because you know, it's vegetable, you don't want it to too. So that's how it is. So I put my stove on and um, I'm going to put some oil in there. I would say about a quarter cup of oil. So when it finish heat, I'll show you the next step. Now the oil is ready and I'm going to put the, the masala mixture in with the seasoning. So let this um, fry down into the oil. So it fry nicely down to the oil. So I'm going to put the potato first. I just cook a little then I'll put it in the, the same or you call it the flat beans. So now I'm gonna add this cook a little so I'm gonna add the cleaning. I wash it. So this is a vegetarian style. So I'm going to put some salt. 
and I'll put a lid on this and then you'll we'll see the next step okay so I'm just checking looking good so I'll put some um, sweet potato peppers on it and I'll let it cook so I'm gonna put a lid and let it cook some more So already um I'ma put uh, like a just a little bit of water because the potato needed to cook a little. So it's coming nicely, frying up nicely. So I'm gonna add just like a quarter cup or less than quarter cup of water because I want the potato. To steam down a little. And let it come to a full boil and then I'm gonna um, put a simmer. So I'm gonna add um, a hot pepper to this and some onion and it's all good. You're gonna dry down and come down till the end. So it's coming to an end uh, this time I'm going to add some, um, some onion and some fresh um, cilantro. Give it a quick stir and let it just steam a little and you finish. Just check in. Okay, so it's finished. very nicely done it's finished now remember i make this is like a vegetarian style i didn't put no meat or fish or shrimps but I, i'm frying some fish on the side and then you're gonna we can eat it with it so let's finish so my same finish uh, nicely done it's more like of a you know dry down bunge style and it's a vegetarian but you know you can add meat fish whatever you want like I made some fish on the side and I'm gonna eat it with that so this is um Zorina spice I want to say thank you guys for watching you guys have a beautiful day and thank you for subscribe thanks for the great words and comment that you have leave me I do appreciate it you have a good day thanks bye bye so my same here I prepare a plate with some fish on the side but you know it's a vegetarian type of um, way I make it. They also have um, some roti. I made some roti with flaxseed. It's very healthy. And I just want to show you guys how nice it looks. Thanks.